Welcome to our channel, today we are going to explore failed aviation designs in history. The Tupilev Tu-144, often referred to as the Konkordsky, was a supersonic passenger airliner developed by the Soviet Union as a response to the British-French Concorde. While the Tu-144 was an engineering marvel and showcased the Soviet Union's technological capabilities, it faced a series of challenges that ultimately contributed to its failure. The Tu-144 had several design issues, including engine placement on the upper surface of the wings, which caused instability during certain flight phases. The aircraft experienced shockwaves and compressibility effects at supersonic speeds, leading to increased drag and decreased efficiency. The Tu-144's engines generated high levels of noise, which posed challenges for airport operations and led to noise pollution concerns. The Tu-144 had a shorter range compared to the Concorde, which restricted its potential for transatlantic flights, a key market for supersonic travel. Unlike the Concorde, which benefited from joint British-French collaboration, the Tu-144 was developed in isolation, limiting access to international expertise and markets. The Tu-144 experienced multiple accidents during its operational lifetime. Notably, the 1973 Paris Air Show crash was a major setback, resulting in 14 fatalities and casting doubts on the aircraft's safety. The Tu-144's rapid descent angles and supersonic flight stressed the airframe, raising concerns about its structural integrity. Due to its engine placement and design, the T.U-144 had limited cabin space and passenger capacity compared to conventional subsonic airliners. The accidents and safety concerns surrounding the Tu-144 negatively impacted public perception and confidence in the aircraft's safety and reliability. In conclusion, the Tupilev faced a combination of technical, operational, economic, and geopolitical challenges that collectively contributed to its failure. While the aircraft achieved some milestones in aviation history, including being one of the first commercial supersonic jet to enter service, it ultimately struggled to overcome its design flaws, safety issues, and economic limitations. The lack of a conducive environment for international cooperation and the backdrop of the Cold War further constrained its potential for success. As a result, the Tu-144 remains an emblematic example of the complex factors that can influence the success or failure of an ambitious aerospace project.